Hey guys, Dan the Man 92 back in with another video for you guys. In today's video, got a bunch of tools. So let's get started. So, like I said, have a bunch of tools. Uh, I got these probably got some last week and then some today. But first things first. I got this Harbor Freight five gallon bucket. I think it was like $3 and then like a dollar and change for the lid. So I think it ended up being like a dollar cheaper than if I went to Home Depot and got theirs. But overall, it's nice. Yeah, I'm just peeling away the sticker. <laughs> so open up the lid. Got a whole bunch of goodies in here. First off, we got this set right, or this ply right here. This is the Doyle brand. This is, I think it was the assembly pliers. So pretty cool plier. Haven't seen one of these before. So happy to get it. Up next, we have this 22 piece, the 22 piece combination wrench set. It has SAE and metric. Goes uh, for SAE, you got quarter inch, 5 16 3 8 7 16 half inch, 9 16 5 8 11 16 3 quarter, 13 16 and 7 8 And then for metric, we got 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, and 19 millimeter. So pretty cool set. I think I spent like $15 or so on this, maybe 20, not 100. I, yeah, I think it was closer to 20. And then I got this uh, Bauer impact rated socket adapter set. Go right there. This one, I believe this was $8.99. And it says right here, for use with impact drivers. Now, for those of you that might know, I don't have an impact driver. I have a Bauer 3 impact wrench, but I don't have a driver. So, I got the Bauer 20 volt quarter inch hex impact driver. So, very cool. Let's open it up. So right here. We have instructions and a belt clip. I'm gonna hold on to that. This instructions. It's an impact driver. So pretty much or, yeah, exactly same size. I like that it has the three LED lights right there. Now let's take these uh, adapters. So obviously you got the quarter inch, so. Impact ready. Three eighths. Now, one thing I don't like is that with some of them, I think Milwaukee, you can literally just push it on and then it clicks in with this one. 
Got to pull the collar back, push in, and that locks into place, but this thing has some power to it. Same thing happens. I don't know why I'm showing you every single one. It's all the exact same. Now, one thing I have to, I really want to do is probably test out to see if I can remove the lug nuts off my car with this. If so, that'd be cool. And I need to get an impact adapter for this. That way I can uh, see if this can take the lug nuts off my car. But that is all I have for new tools for the past few weeks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you like this video. Um, and just so you know, I did hit 2,000 subscribers the other day, so I'll be making a video about that. That one will probably go up tomorrow, so stay on the lookout for that. I will be doing a giveaway. So, pretty much it. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Thank you very much. Have a great day, everyone.